car show time people we are going to incarnation on brighton seafront i'm taking you guys with me we are going to go in the van however at this moment in time i can't get the thing to start because the battery is dead again now probably because i don't use the thing but thankfully the guys at topped on have sent me out another little gadget tb6000 pro smart battery charger and tester thingy my bob now from what i can make out you can get the app i think once you plug this in you can then go on the app and it'll tell you whether your battery is good and what sort of charge it has and all that lot but what i'm going to do get this all out of the box figure it all out figure out how to use it and i'll pick you back up when i'm ready to put that battery on test with that thing and i'll show you what it's all about Next step, clean the damn thing. Look how filthy that is. Absolutely covered in grime. I haven't actually used this thing since I got it back from being wrapped, which is over a month ago now. Uh, it's probably half the reason why my battery is dead. But we're going to get all the clean stuff out, give her a nice little uh, clean off, make her look all fresh, and get it ready for tomorrow. Hopefully the weather will be as nice as it is right now tomorrow because the forecast for tomorrow at this very point in time looks bloody terrible and being on Brighton seafront is not going to be ideal if it's raining. So, fingers crossed. Well I'm not very hot and cleaning folks. This is what I'm using. Maguire's snow foam, wash and wax and ceramic detailer. I only use that stuff because it's what I could buy in Halfords. I don't know nothing about car, car cleaning and I tend to avoid it like the plague. Is uh, to be honest, that thing's way more fun beating down the B roads than it is sitting here on the driveway with me washing it. So, but if you know of anything, any good products that I can try that will keep it looking clean for longer, I'm all for it. Let us know in the comments. So, I'm going to chuck you on the tripod. I'm going to wash this thing down real quick and. Uh, Hopefully she's looking all spankly clean afterwards. cleaned off all dried off and ceramic coated now so all good to rock and roll tomorrow well van's all clean now so it is time to figure out what's going on with my battery this is the battery out of my van and for whatever reason it keeps going dead so we're going to plug in this top don tb6000 pro which is a battery tester and a charger and we're going to see what's occurring so this is what you get in the box instructions your crocodile clip bits for the actual battery and then what i think is really handy is this little pigtail bit so you leave this connected to your battery 
And if you're anything like me and you don't use your project car very often, the battery's always going flat. You just plug straight into that, charge her up, and away you go. All right, let's plug this in, see what happens. All right, there we go, that's the display. Obviously, there's no buttons on the actual unit itself, but everything is controlled via the app. Obviously, it's saying there's no battery connected at the moment because there isn't. So, we'll change that. Let's chuck these positive on there, ground on there, and there we go, connected. So, What's that saying on there? That is telling me that it's 4.9 volts, 4.8 volts, which is far from ideal. Definitely not what I want for my van. So let's go on testing options, battery test, gives you a little rundown of blah blah blah. And then we've got to type in all the information for the battery. Right. Battery voltage is too low, so I need to charge it in order to get a battery test done. Let's go back out of here, let's go quick charge. Now you've got all different types of charging mates here. Hopefully that is coming through on the camera. So you've got a 12 volt 6 amp normal, 12 volt repair, 12 volt supply, 12 volt 3 amp small, 12 volt 6 amp lithium, 6 volt 3 amp normal so we go on 12 volt normal start charging ah bad battery right so we won't be charging this battery then right looks like i'm gonna have to go and get a new battery for the van right let's see if we can try another battery on this just so we can see how this thing actually works. Right, here we go. Just for the interest of showing you guys it, how this thing works, it is now connected up to the replica. So we bust out the app, saying connected. What we'll do is we will go on testing options, battery test, and we've got 420 on there. So let's uh, there we go, 12.45 volts. The battery needs to be replaced. Uh, state of health, 38%. State of charge, 75%. Blah, blah, blah. So, let's see if we can do a little smart charge on it. So, start charging. And there we go, on the graph there it shows you what what the power is going into it. So battery level 25% currently. So what I'll do is I'll leave this charging for a little bit and I'll pick you up shortly and see if it's actually improved the battery. Alright, bad news folks, error code. So because the battery is in such poor health, it's not willing to even do a repair on it to try and bring it back up to par. No, it looks like put a hand in my pocket for a couple of new batteries one for the replica and one for the van out there so yeah thanks top don for sending me the uh battery tester charger what a bit of kit that is highly recommend anyone getting one of them i mean like i say if you're like me and you don't necessarily use your project car and it just sits on the driveway all the time with the battery going flat get yourselves one of them and uh, it'll stop you from being left in the lurch when it actually comes to wanting to use the thing. So, right, I'm going to go and get a new battery for the van so I can actually get to this car show in the morning. And I'll pick you up in the morning when we get heading off.
All right, rendezvous point has been reached. How are we at, Ben? Brighton. Yeah. Incarnation. Incarnation. All right, we're going to have a little walk through on all these cars. Or might not actually, because it seems like we've just gone the wrong way. But right, we're going to walk back. <laughs> Take you the right way. All right, back where we should be now, actually walking down past the cars. Round two. Round two. I'll show you some cars. See what's going on at Incarnation. Don't see many of them anymore. Yeah, buddy. Busy, 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 man. Quite like us. Look at that. Bit of marvel. Quite like that. Oh, they look weird. Yeah, that looks strange. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. No, All the Scoobies, eh? Oh, yeah. Look at that, though. Creme de la creme. Can't see these anymore. <laughs> Back to the 90s. Oh, this is cool, man. Super clean. Like that. This is the seats. The bath seats. Oh, the bath seats. Can't really see inside. Too much glare. Back to the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure this is like 500 dollars back this thing. I'm sure someone's done a video of that one. Um, one of those like, review channels. I like that though. That colour on them wheels is nice. Yeah, that pops, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I like that. Transit ST. R1. R1? Yeah, special edition. Oh, that one? Mm. The only car in that colour. Typical Scooby, he's blowing a head gasket. Golden oldies. Bernardes, man, love these things. That's quite nice. They love all this old stuff. There they That's cool.
thing's pretty nice. Yeah, you know. Nice little Orion. Oh, it's turbo engine. Bargain. Check this caper out. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. No idea if this thing's genuine. I think it is, it's got a plaque on the deck. I think it's genuine. It's got a plaque on there. Oh, that's nice. That's quite a nice start to that. Put the old Nankang. Yeah, you can come with me. <laughs> <laughs> you probably should have left the back edge of it open. Yeah, I like that. Very nice.
There we go then guys, back from Incarnation 2023. Thought I'd take you along for the ride, seeing as it was only a local show and it'd be rude not to go. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing some of the cars that they had on offer there. Fiat Uno Turbo has got to be my favourite from that show. That thing was super clean. I haven't seen one of them for so long. But yeah, top done. Nice one for sending out the battery tester and charger. Obviously it highlighted the fact I needed a battery for this thing. And it's also highlighted the fact I need a battery for the replica in the garage. So yeah, obviously got one for this now. Just need to get one for the replica and then we're golden. Um, next video, we will be back on with the Quattro Escort. I've had to have a couple of weeks off from that thing because I was just getting so bored of stripping under seal. It was driving me nuts. So now I've had a couple of weeks off from that. I'm ready to dive straight back in. So next video will be of that. Hopefully we get some progress made on that thing. And uh, yeah, but, but for now, that's a wrap. So like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more and I shall see you on the next one. Peace.